Hey everybody, you have tuned in to the Freemat Podcast. I am Matt Freemat. I am traditionally joined by the one and only General Patrick Flynn. General Patrick Flynn is handling personal affairs and other affairs unrelated to the show. Um, wanted to tell you guys that um, we're usually a libertarian roundtable discussion. We usually add in a bunch of silly social commentary and what have you. I did have some some somewhat uh, societal type things for us in the United States here. Obviously, you understand that we've had, uh, if you want to call it the beer bug or the coof. Um, as of lately, the CDC has made a couple pretty important decisions regarding um, vaccines and people that are... Um, What's what's what I'm looking for? Changing the way that we handle things and, and, and we're being allowed, we'll get into that, allowed to make certain changes. People can make more decisions about how they're going to interact with other people if they've been vaccinated. And it was in regards to wearing masks and not wearing masks, things like that. And one of the things I've noticed is there's a lot of uh, just limp-wristed gnashing of teeth from morons and a lot of uh, news. I want to say the, the literati, the, uh, the, the flapping heads, the, the kind of people that are too smart, too smart for us, or we're too dumb for them, no matter how you look at it. But one of the, I guess they're mad about these decisions and they're saying that, how are we going to determine who's had their shots or not? Are are we endangering? Do I need, are we endangering our children? Because what about the children? Your your children are, are being my children are being punished because I don't know if unvaccinated people are not wearing masks. And I'm I'm these people would probably rather you wear a gold star on your shirt like you're going to a camp. Because the title of this art, or the title of this this video, which was ham-handed at best, is tragedy of the minority. And you ask me about the minorities, and I'm not talking about black. I'm not talking about Asian, you know, island, Pacific Islander. I'm not talking about disabled people being in a minority or a certain population. But these are a minority of of people that they're the vocal minority, and I had a bug fly in my eye, so it's even better. When you get the bugs out of your eyes, you'll go back to figuring out these people that are the vocal minority who sit there and cry about not knowing other people's business, and they'll beg big government for help. And you would ask me, well. These people need to, they need to fix themselves. They're going to, they're going to punish us all. Or they're the, they're the, the bad ones. They're just the few bad ones that don't care. And I'm like, you haven't proven that. And, and this is within the frame of a non-aggression principle. They're not purposely aggressing on you. It's not like typhoid Mary, who's purposely trying to get people sick. These people are trying to mind their own business they're trying to get on with their lives, and these people, they're just paranoid and criers. And once I've said the aggrieved, these people that are aggrieved, it empowers them. It, I call it the victim the victim cycle. It's being a victim makes them feel powerful. And I've told these, I want to tell these people, you can know. You don't need to listen. Our government doesn't need to listen to these people. They don't need they don't need to punish everybody else because of a bunch of crybabies and a bunch of paranoid people. And of course they're gonna go into one of these victim cycles and they're gonna be kept they're gonna keep signaling to everybody else about you know about why they should be mad and why they should be scared. And I'm gonna tell you, this isn't a government thing. You just need to get on with your life. And you don't have a right to torture other people. And it's, it's I like the, the, the vocal minority. I've said this about, I said this about conservative Christians in the nineties. This was the Lynchburg, Virginia people that automatically 
thought that they needed to push their system of beliefs on everybody. They slowly, slowly tried to inch it in there. And it came to culture and music. And, yes, they wanted the government to do all this stuff about it. They had, just like PMRC of the past, the Karen Association of, of Concerned Karens, those people get to, to in front of Congress, and they and, and you know, eventually they'll tug at heartstrings like Mothers Against Drunk Driving did, and they'll get basically where the government runs our lives. And I think that, yeah, they're going to try, but we don't need to listen to them. You need to tell them to shut up. And I'm not, don't believe in drowning out people. They have a right to cry. But I'm going to tell you that we don't need to give in to emotional ploys. You can tell your politicians the same way. Don't give in to emotional ploys. And you know what? It's it's it, anti-fragility as much as, uh, was it Nicholas Talib? I, I apologize for stealing the anti-fragility element. But there's a point, if you want to get on with your life, you can't hide, you can't be scared. And I think stress and paranoia is worse. And you know what? It'll kill them off eventually. But understanding that life is a challenge and that your body is going to be taxed, it's a part of life. It's a it's biology. And we have it in us. You're mammals. Yeah, I hate to tell you, a lot of you are mammals. Most of most of my most of my viewers are mammals. Just get it in your skull and tell these people and tell your politicians not to listen to these creeps. And you know what? Uh, and it was uh, somebody in the news. I, I hell, I I didn't write it down. I was driving like a mad. Pulled off the road to take notes and in, in, in my notebook here. But don't listen to those people. And you know what? Skewer them, not physically. Not jab them with a knife. That's that's craziness. Skewer them, and you know, and and I always say, was it sun is the best disinfectant? Those UV rays, they'll bleach it, they'll bleach them, they'll clean it. Tell people how stupid this is, and tell them the paranoia is unfounded. I said, if you wanted to be worried about something, be worried about something with substance. And you know what? You'll figure out that this condition, and hopefully it'll blow over. Hopefully people will find out that it was just a government, a way for certain politicians and government people to stick their nose in your business. And then the other set of people who didn't, they want to pat themselves on the back because they did nothing. And you know what? Don't don't believe this hype. And you know what? Get on with your lives. All right, folks. Enjoy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Was it notifications? Like? Subscribe? Messed up the order. Who cares? Uh, Twitter, Gab, Parlay, even though it sucks. There's an email. Feel free to send me a hate email. Drop me a line. Tell me I'm awesome. Who cares? Also, way, 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 way down below, I believe, is um, you can put a comment in there. I might uh, probably put an article about this. But you know what, folks? Just get on with your life. Go, go deal with... Go deal with the stuff that matters. This is crap. I said, you can listen to my videos, but just don't live them. All right? Be, be better. Be better. Be better. See you.